Tell us about the tools you're using. Uh, these are little these are vice grips, and uh, I use a variety of tools, whatever it might be needed. And a lot of the tools that I got from my husband gave me initially, and then I had to find more specific tools, smaller screwdrivers, things like that to take apart box because the nuts and gears and screws are smaller than most things, most everyday common. Do you enjoy taking apart clocks? It's fun. It's part of the process. I have to get parts in order to make the pieces, so um, actually I do enjoy it. So I save all the parts. I reuse everything from the screws and the bolts. Where do you find most of your clock parts? I find the clocks all over. I just have to look for them. Um, garage sales, thrift stores, on the internet. It's not uncommon to find clocks and watch, clock and watch parts from you know, all over the world. You know, I try to find uh, the lowest prices so that I can keep my prices uh, low for my designs as well. But as you can see, this um, this is part of the deconstruction part of the clock is part of the design. So in order to make a piece, I have to first get the piece out of the clock or gadget or other electronical piece. It's not like I can just go buy these from a store or a supply place. They have to be found and then they have to be taken apart. Once I get going, typically I can deconstruct a clock in about eight to ten minutes, depending on the how tight the bolts are. Locked on. Okay, so this is a spring. This is the part I respect the most. Go to make a piece. I just gather, start putting together uh, different gears. There we go. about it.